Hey there, friends, Nibs again. Out in the garage tonight. <clears throat> I was uh, outside all day work, and it was a beautiful day. And uh, don't you know it, as soon as I get home, a uh, rainstorm starts moving in. So it's just my luck, but we'll keep it inside. Do a little bit of goofing around inside tonight. A little bit of uh, tinkering around. And uh, what I got for you for this video, I think it'll be a lot of fun. Hopefully it'll be a lot of fun. But uh, I've seen these, you know, you guys kind of know I've been geeking out to... Uh, a bunch of different red dots and trying them out and doing reviews and so far they've been really good uh, but uh, I have seen this one online a few times Amazon uh, eBay um, <clears throat> and uh, I did a little bit of searching I didn't ever buy one but I did a little searching after I bought this one and so on on Amazon the cheapest I found it was around sixteen dollars and then uh, <clears throat> on eBay they're uh, I think I found one for 18 and there's a couple guys that are selling for like $25, $30. So I don't know what they're smoking, but uh, at the local farm store, uh, I was walking around in there and they had this thing for $11.99. With tax, it was still less than, well, let's see here. Oh, $13.04 with tax. I'll actually put a picture of the receipt right here. But... Uh, <clears throat> and what we have here is a nice little daisy uh, red dot. And I haven't opened it up or anything. <clears throat> but when I saw that, I was like, I think I might try that on my 880. This is a pretty nice 880. It's been uh, worked on and kind of tuned up by Michael, uh, a good friend on the channel. He sent it over to me. Um, this little scope he sent with it. Eh. It's uh, not very clear, and I'm not, not knocking them for any of that, but uh, it is a little Tasco 3 to 7 by 20. Never been great. I think uh, I would actually be much farther ahead with a uh, no magnification red dot than one that's all blurry and I can't see 20 feet across the garage here. So, But uh, <clears throat> I must go ahead. I'm going to open this guy up and just play with it. I'm not going to keep you on for actually sticking it on there, but... Uh, after I get it on there and uh, kind of zero it, I'll, I'll bring you guys back on and we'll try it out and see what kind of kind of grouping I can do here in the garage. But uh, so I've got the uh, razor knife. We'll cut this open nice and easy in case it's broken. I have to take it back to the store. Get my hard-earned eleven dollars back, <laughs> twelve dollars back. <clears throat> does say it includes batteries it doesn't it doesn't tell me what kind of batteries i might need to replace it with though so that'll be something that i'll have to figure out down the road i guess i think there's a little so here we go here is the red dot out of the oh the battery cases on the side so let's see, there's a little plastic cover here. Aha. Uh -huh. So how do we open that up? Oh, there we go. All right, it's a 2032. That's good. I got plenty of those around. So let's turn it on and see if we get a red dot. You can see the laser. Where is the dot? There it is. Eh, it's not a bad looking dot. It's not huge. I was expecting like a... 10, MA, 10 MOA dot or something like that um, and it does have a dim and so it's two brightness settings dim and then bright so that's pretty good so I don't probably won't need anything but the dim in here in the garage um, <clears throat> looks like all of the adjustments are done with a Phillips head screwdriver not bad so uh, I'm gonna cut this off I'm going to take off this little Tasco here and I'll mount that up and I'll bring you guys back on in a couple minutes once I get it loaded up or set up. So stand by. Alrighty, I am back <clears throat> and uh, I have to say it, uh, it is actually not a bad little piece. Uh, I mean, it is not, you know, a $120 uh, red dot from Amazon or anything like that, but for <laughs> for what you pay for it. Um, that thing is actually going to get the job done, I think. Uh, I 
actually left my sighting target up there. Uh, you guys will see that. Um, it took me like three or four shots and then I was right in the center. And the last two shots I took went right into the red dot of the uh, splatter burst target. <clears throat> Thank them for sending over the uh, sending over the targets we're using today. Now I have a two inch splatter burst out there. And uh, so it, this thing does have two power settings. And uh, the, the lower power is more than enough for the lighting out here in the garage. I'm sure you probably would want the higher power if you're playing outside. But uh, just shooting this old 880 with some seven grain Meister Coogans. And uh, it really seems to like those. So I did test uh, just to play around with it before I actually started the uh, beginning of the video up. <clears throat> I shot it across the chronograph and at five pumps this thing's doing 581 feet per second with these seven grain Meister Coogan. So it is a, uh, a good performing gun. <laughs> right in the red dot. The red dot is right in the red dot. <laughs> so it's a great little uh, gun. That was me. I pulled that one up a little bit, but still, it's a, that was a great shot. But uh, <clears throat> I know there's several guys down here on YouTube love these things. I mean, I, I can see why they're great guns. I grew up shooting 760s, so that's what I kind of gravitate towards, but nothing wrong with this thing at all. It's a great shooting gun. There you go. <laughs> Let's do a couple more and then we'll wrap it up. If you can find one of these at your your local uh, local shop or whatever, air gun shop. I don't know if I'd pay the $20. Maybe I would. It's a decent little unit actually. It's probably worth $20. Bucks. Um, You know, if you're looking for something for for your kid's uh, little 880 or 760 or even a Red Rider for that matter, um, Buckrail has a, a, a mount that you can put on your uh, Red Rider to, to mount a little scope or red dot on. I think this would be perfect for that. What better place to put a daisy red dot than on a daisy, right? <laughs> a lot better I can, I can actually see what I'm doing I can actually see the target and see the lines and stuff when I was had this task go on there I could not get that thing to focus at all it was everything was blurry down there so but uh, that's a lot better I couldn't figure out whether I want it in behind the loading port or in front of the loading port but I think I like it out there in the front a little better it is a lot better having that loading port open and you can get your fingers in there because with that scope it was really uh, blocking the loading port quite a bit so it was tough to get that in there but anyway there you go there is my little review of the daisy is there a model number on here for this thing part number 301011-000 i don't know if that means anything but if you search for daisy red dot on uh, amazon You'll find it for like 15 or 16 bucks, so I think it's worth that all day long. But uh, I was really glad to find it for uh, under 12. And uh, not forget to turn it off before I finish up. So anyway, hope you liked the video. Till next time, have a great day.